Well, in case you're wondering what time it was or is, it's 8.17. We're a little bit on the tardy side. We're on the south uh, uh, eastern side of 8 o'clock. Uh, I had a little technical difficulty. A, getting the live streaming going. B, getting the sound going. C, getting the video going. D, getting it all going at once. But we're here. We're here. Uh, if we look a little bit perhaps on the uh, from this side, which is Yiddish for tired, uh, we may be just a hair tired, but that's not going to stop us mm -hmm. from saying, do you, Rob Lynn, live on. No, you do. If you're here tonight after being on with us and then Ash and then the Indians over there in, what's the name of that country, city? Uh, uh... Pundergast? <laughs> no, no, no. I was gonna, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's a K. It's a K. It's 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 Kolkata. 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 Yeah. In Kolkata. In, in, I want to cut my throat in, right now. Kolkata. Kolkata. All right. So we were at it kind of. I think about fifteen hours yesterday Four. plus yeah. preparation time. We so were, if we look a little bit on the no, oh they're crazy. Because we were on Omino Orange with Asma Farah, right? And then after that. We went to the India uh, Kolkata event that started at 4.45 a.m. Eastern. So no sleep for the weary. We were up and about and staying awake as best we could. I may have to back the bus up on that sleep is overrated. It ain't overrated. You need to get at least an hour a day. And uh, we were on the light side of that. So we're here. You're here. We want to remind you of our two domains, RobLynLive.ai. Listen to those vocals. Ooh, ooh. And RobLynLive.com. You can go to either of those two domains and you can register to be a part of Lynn's organization. Lynn M. Lynn Mie Nakamoto. And that's this lady over here. Yes, with her hand raised. Don't raise your hand. Then I'll have to call on you. All right, so let's back up the bus and say you get three products with uh, your registration. You get O'Mail, O'Net, and O'Trim, and the opportunity to buy, to subscribe to O'Connect. Yeah, baby. So just do it. Get after it. You know the drill. How many we got on YouTube right now? I just want to shout out to them right uh, now. We got 11. 11 on YouTube? 11. Mm -hmm. What did we do uh, when we tried to get on YouTube nine times? They decided to head for the hills. <laughs> How know. about on O-Connect? We got anybody here? We got 40. 40. All right. Well, I guess we're okay. Yeah, We'd we're rather good. be everybody here anyway. Today is yeah. Saturday. Oh, yes, it is. It's still Saturday. This is the second day of March 2024. You got Roblin Live. This is day four. 556 consecutive Roblin lives, and you know it. We ain't going nowhere. 556 in a row, right here, right now. Moving along, as uh, Ayush says, let's move along. Uh, 10 a.m. this morning brought you live with Marty and Chris. 11 a.m. By the way, last night we started with Roblin live at 7:30. She forgot to tell you that one. So we started with Roblin live. Then we went to Oran. Then we went to Omanu. Then we went to uh, Ash coming on, and then we were on that for three and a half hours, and then an hour and 15 or 20 minutes later, along comes the Indian folks, and we got on that one for five hours and a half. Yep. So five hours and a half plus an hour and 10 minutes with us plus three and a half with Ash. I think that equals something over six. I don't know what it is. All right, 10 a.m. was live with Marty and Chris. 11 a.m. brought you Red, recapping O'Ron and O'Menu. Uh, Red had been up quite a few hours himself. Then at uh, 12 noon, it was the OTEC Pros, I believe. It was posted, so I believe they were there. And I guess we're going to have to do the scrolling on our own. Here we go. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is now bringing you Rob Lynn Live and Ali. The Wonder Dog. With our topic of the evening shopping we're going shopping and ai i said everybody can relate to shopping who did you say that to you oh you're right i know you can for sure and so can i 
So shopping and AI, let's please first pray for Ash and his lovely wife, Ashmahan, the boys, Omar and Yusuf, Omar, the author at age nine and a half, almost 10, maybe even 10 by now. And Yusuf, uh, who is the astronaut to be, astronaut to be. So, and also pray for the uh, team, the support team, mm, the media team, and the tech team in Hyderabad. And all right, are we in the center of the screen? We've got some announcements tonight, but at first, we want to remind you to send out your love, light, and prayers to anyone who's ill or has been injured in an accident. Please send them your love, light, and prayers because prayer works big time. Now, we have some announcements, so let's get after the announcements before we get into the program. Right. Now it's a program. Are they, are and, they? and Deb is going to be teaching. Deborah Long will be teaching a sign language. I see her list of signs. She's so organized. Thank you, Deb. All right. Thank that'll you. be coming to you in probably 25 minutes. We'll do the No, no. Uh, we'll have the live uh, community chat first, and then, and then we'll get into the yeah. sign once everybody's hopped on board with community chat. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. Last night was Oran Omenu with about a three and a half hour gala event with panelists and questions for Ash Mafara. Uh, he answered, uh, I would say, most of them rather directly. There were a couple that uh, he couldn't really go into. He went into them as directly as he could. And we look to hear more information this week. This will be a biggie. We hope, oh, we, we hope no. to. We're not sure, but we hope to, right? Correct. Uh, this morning's India meet and greet, attended by some 2,000 affiliates, went for five hours and 31 minutes. Now, almost six. Almost six no, hours. Almost six. Five hours and 50 minutes. That's right. Or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was spectacular. So that's it as far as what was going on there. Migration without hesitation is a must at this point. Mm -hmm. Sign the NDA and the affiliate agreements. Log into your OES and check your profile against your ID. It needs to match. Okay. Now, uh, where in the past, Ash had said something about they were going to send out 100 of the uh, withdrawals uh, with uh, emails or, and emails. Well, that didn't happen. So now it's going to go direct from however you requested it. From what I understand from Ash, it's going to be a, a massive uh, bulk. bulk, yeah, bulk is a better word than massive, a bulk uh, mail out or give out or send out yeah. or pay out. So yeah. stay tuned for that. I'm looking for that this week. I can't wait. I could wait and I have been waiting, so I guess I could wait, but I don't want to wait much longer, Ash. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Log into your OES. Check your profile against your ID. It needs to match. You got that? It's got to match because that's the way where they're going to check you through O-Verify. All right. Mm -hmm. Check out the OnPassive YouTube channel. Check out the newest website while you're at it. It's a dandy this week. Uh, we're up to what? Uh, link 57 at this point, right? Uh, or is it 58? Check 57 before you check 58. That's all we can tell you. All right. Check out the YouTube channel, which we mentioned. Subscribe to O-Connect if you haven't as of yet. Uh, if you don't have the shekels, greenbacks, or money yet, dinero, pesos, stand by. Once you get it done by September, you're golden. All right. Hop on an O-Connect or two. Attend webinars and chats as time permits. And we'd like to say a special thank you to our uh, deaf community member, Rachel Violet. She sent us a super sticker today uh, while we were doing our, uh, what was it? Not a recap, but a replay, right? Yeah, we're no, uh, very we're kind. The um, O Ron and O Minu, the recording. The recording, that's what. Yeah, it, it was on our channel. So Rachel popped up and she gave us a super sticker. So thank you, Rachel. Thank, thank you. you. Rachel. You know, we appreciate you and we love you. All right. So that's thank you to Rachel. Now, we also want to mention a couple of our friends who are not doing uh, very well illness-wise. Uh, one, uh, Moshevek, and uh, 
Uh, his last name is Produci. Produci. Yeah, Moshevik Produci. Also, Alex Sojib, who used to be first boy all the time with the Ollie Boy contest. So, or most of the time, Frank. Sorry, most of the time. And uh, please send your love, light, and prayers out to those those two young men. They would appreciate your support. Thank you, guys. Now we've got a topic tonight. And I guess you ladies and some of you gentlemen are going to love it. Mm -hmm. Shopping and AI. So shopping. Is it shopping at the mall? Shopping with e-commerce online? Just exactly is this old buzzard talking about? Well, Ollie's question of the evening. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll mention it. Ollie's question of the evening. Have you noticed AI at work while you shop? In other words, have you noticed something to do with artificial intelligence uh like maybe when you were going to pay out and you gave them your name ai pulled it right up on the computer your name and everything that goes with it so that's ai at work let us know what you think about how you had ai enter your life while you shop all right now are we ready to rumble i believe we might be did you want me to make any other announcements? Other than Irena Stexala, thank you very much for your super sticker from our hearts to yours. There's oh. a thank you with sign. Thank you, Irena. Thank you, thank you. Irena's always with us. I don't think she ever misses a night. She's here all the time. Unless she's, she's on vacation. Yeah. And then she's excused. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get after it. Thank you again, Irena. Thank you again, uh, Rachel Violet. And thank you. I see Kushal and... Uh, Kusha Pegu and Michael Chata are in the live chat with their YouTube uh, live stream. And also I see Roy Davies in there helping out. These are our moderators, and they're there with us all mm -hmm. the time providing support, as well as John Barilla. John Barilla tends to stay more on O-Connect side, but he's always there for us. We appreciate you. Uh, and Irena Stixala says, I do, hashtag. I know that's right, woman. I know you do. She certainly does. All right. Well, the retail and e-commerce, as in online selling and buying and purchasing, etc., industries have been greatly affected by AI. Well, impacted, I should say, and affected with the enhancing of the shopping experience. It makes it very easy to shop optimizing operations and personalizing customer service. Yeah. That's something that's been needed for hundreds of years or a hundred years anyway. So let's take a peek at what this is all about, AI and shopping. What's up first? Personalized recommendations. Oh yeah. AI is at work and with the use of the algorithms that we're all familiar with, the use of these algorithms, customers purchases, browsing history and preferences to suggest products with this comes the likelihood of more purchases and that's the name of the game if you're with on passive the more the merrier for us that's good because it'll know for example if i'm looking for a blouse uh, a certain kind of maybe a summer school blouse size medium of course and a certain color certain print certain size certain style It'll know. AI will track that. They'll know what I've looked at. They know what I prefer. They keep track of what I've purchased in the past, right? So that makes for um, better suggestions. When they show me blouses, it will be likely blouses that I like and maybe more likely to buy. All right. That sounds good to me. Let's take a look at visual searches, okay, shall we? Here we go. Visual search. Customers can upload images to search instead of relying on text-based searches. In other words, you don't just have to look it up in a catalog. You don't just have to get a text from someone to tell you about it. AI-powered search technology recognizes the objects within the image, within an image, and finds matching or similar items in the inventory. Wow, that's amazing. That is That's really incredible. amazing. Because maybe actually. you have something, an image, but you don't know how to describe that image. You don't need to. Just show the image, and the AI will do the, the work from then that point on. It's amazing. It's good stuff, good yeah, stuff, and good. good stuff. Let's move along to chatbots. 
We've been talking about these lately and virtual assistants. You get 24 seven customer service. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Round the clock. You can be shopping, answering queries, questions. I should say, providing recommendations and even assisting with the transaction. Ooh. And this for sure improves the efficiency, efficiency. efficiency. And we not need it to be e efficient. All right. That's Before great. we move on, I'd like to take a peek here and we see there's 43. Okay. 43 of you here, not too shabby. I, I should say. Um, I have this here. All right. Then I won't go there again. No problem. Inventory management. If we may, AI is at work analyzing trends, past sales data and external factors. So AI helps to reduce being overstocked, having too many of one kind in stock and stock outs, meaning when you have none in stock. So AI is good at inventory management. Oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> dynamic one pricing. Moment. AI algorithms can dynamically adjust prices based on demand, competition, inventory levels and customer behavior that's really good so in other words sometimes you know there's an item that you want but it's priced too high and you like everything about it except the price so then you won't buy right so ai will be able to uh, realize why people aren't buying and they'll drop the prices based on competition etc so that's really a good thing all right. Very sophisticated. Yes, it is. And then there's fraud detection and prevention. AI is able to spot abnormal abnormalities uh, through transaction data. In other words, maybe too many purchases uh, through the transaction data, or maybe some from uh, multiple debit or credit cards that aren't good, and therefore protecting the retailer, which is important as well as the customer, which is also important. Very. All right. Supply chain optimization. This is how we get it trucked there. AI is able to predict the best route to get the merchandise to you. Mm -hmm. It manages warehouse operations. Oh yeah. I've witnessed that at Costco and Sam's and forecasting demand more accurately. What does that do? That reduces delivery times and costs. For example, it will get it here today rather than tomorrow, thereby improving overall efficiency. That's a good thing too. Which is good. That's another good point. Yeah. And we've got just two more points and we're off to the races. Virtual trying on. Now, come on, Rob. What are you talking about? Virtual trying on. Well, Enter an augmented reality where customers can try on and see how products look on them. Ooh. This can greatly reduce return rates. In other words, if you can try it on before you leave home, in other words, put it up against you, see if it looks nice. This will help with returns and will keep returns to a minimum. So not too shabby. And then there's customer feedback. We do like our customer feedback. AI analyzes customer reviews, feedback, and social media. Oh yeah. Mentions to gauge customer sentiment. And this will of course guide improvements. Mm. All handy. Yeah. All good. Customer reviews are important. It tells the retailer what the person liked, what the customer liked, what the customer didn't like and uh, helps the company to improve its services. Right. And service is the name of the game. Mm -hmm. That's how we get more biz. Mm -hmm. So that's it from here. Uh, we're about to go into community time now. It's now 836. Uh, we're about 10 minutes early on community time, but why not? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why the heck We may want to take a few minutes to say hi why to don't our you? folks in the chat. And um, what I'll do is, I'll go ahead and enable the um, alternate tab. Then I can use the chat here on the screen. It'll be easier for us. All right. Give us a second as we go to our 
second tab and in about 10 to 20 seconds you all will see the uh, in the live stream you will see the unpassive.com website it should come up very shortly 10 to 20 seconds right. <coughs> there it is right there all right very good so now we go back to our first tab and we will then be able to look at the um chat chat let's take a peek hello to cynthia deering hello hello Very hello conveniently and we can also do this see oh jillian hannah's here very nice thanks to all in the live stream if you'd like to see our image and you want to see the community panel community and panel you'll need to come and click on the the uh attendee link which is i am pinning it now it's pinned in the YouTube live chat for your con uh, convenience. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's let's scroll up a bit and see who is who's here. Charlie Ellis in the house. We'll go up to five minutes. Here mm -hmm. we go. Let's start with five minutes, which is right here. Mel Don Swihart's here. And Mel Mel. Yes, Greg Lakin. All right, Greg. Sadananda Das. Gregory Hill in the house. Hello, Greg. We're glad you're here, buddy. Cena's in the house as well. Cena, Cena, Cena. Jillian Hanna is here. Welcome. Glad you're here as well. She says AI can protect all consumers, internet users, businesses, organizations, and enterprises from spam, scams, hacks, cyber threats, phishing attempts, etc. And we see we have Frank Rowe. Welcome, Frank Rowe. We also have Charlie Ellis, who we call Bo. He says, Charlie in the house, Roblin Live, Saturday night. I know you do, Charlie. You Roblin Live, brother. And hello to Sadananda Das. We're glad you're here. Everything seems to be going along smoothly on our live streaming. So far, so good. And how many do we have on YouTube, please? We have um, 13. It's kind of light today on the... Very light. All the way across the board. But it is Saturday night, and a lot of people have activities on Saturday night. So we understand. As well as people staying up to watch the uh, Old Manu show and the Old Ron show and the Old Ash show, and then go to O India. Oh, it was busy, busy, busy. Irena Sixalis here. All right, Irena. And we have Jillian. She says AI can also protect us from fraudulent activities corruption and exploitation attempts too. And Sadananda says an AI multi-agent shopping system has many product details. Of course, are on passive products. And hello to Cynthia Daring. She says hi to her friends here. Jillian says customers can shop from their PC or phone at a convenient time too. Hi, Carmilla. Fire, 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 Schwartz. Fire in a hole. Hello, Carmilla. Who else is here? Don Swihart. I said Don already. Yeah, there. Charlie, of course. All right. Rabindra is here. Hello, Kumar, Mr. Kumar. Hi, Rabindra. And Deborah Long. Deborah Long Deborah in the Long house. Is here. She will be teaching tonight. She gave me her list of signs already. Thank you. And we have who else? Lisa McBride. She says, I Roblin Live. And she put a little heart. All right. Thank you for that, Lisa. Thank you for the heart. Appreciate it. And let's see. Carmela says, I was on the show yesterday. Very busy. Yes. Uh, Don says, at least we don't, we didn't have to travel by car. Just click on the computer and see everyone. That's a good point. No driving required. And John Burley says, I'm here. I've only missed two so far. Woo, doggies. And he's so proud of that. And it's a thing, good thing to be proud of. Armin Hogue is here. Hi. Hello, Armin. Good to have you. Cynthia Daring is saying hello. To her friends here and we have greg lakin um how are you greg we're glad you're in with us tonight all right greg thanks for being here brother is that it in the chat now we can uh move along as ash as ash yeah, says as, time, uh, yeah community time go ahead i'm going to enable the speaker icon and change the ticker thank you to michael chatter for this lovely emoji here the uh emoji message Roblin Live, 
Shopping and AI, March 2, 2024, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And he has thoughtfully selected emojis to go along with that topic. Thank you, Michael. And Thank now you, Mike. let's switch over to his message to us of how to become a panelist. And here it is. All you have to do is this. To be a panelist, click the speaker request icon. Very, very simple. As soon as I enable it, you will see it on the bottom where all your buttons are. It's a person with wavy wavy uh, curves around it. You click on that, that. That will tell us that you want to become a panelist. We'll make you a panelist. All righty. And here we go. And tonight's topic is shopping and AI. And what was the question from Ali? The question is, how have you seen AI in effect when you've gone shopping? whether it be on the internet or whether it be in a store. Good question. All right, here we go. I'm enabling that button, the speaker request icon. Go ahead and request to come on in. We got one already. I'd say it's JJB the Tin Man. Welcome, right. John. We have and Deborah Long. Deborah in. Long is here. Deborah. Hi, Deb. To hello, hello to everybody. Thank you, thank you, Deb. And we also have Greg Lakin coming in. All right, Greg. Welcome, welcome. We got Mel Mel coming in and Don Swihart. All right, Don. Welcome, welcome. Anybody else want to come in? Do come in now if you can. Let's get it all set up. All right, let me put it on gallery view. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh, Chris put up the um, shopping and AI visual. Isn't that pretty? Ah, very nice. Really nice. I like it. All right, we have some more people coming in, and we've got Greg Hill coming in. Greg Hill is here. Isabel is right behind him. Hi, Isabel. Nice to have you on the panel. Carmela Schwartz is in the house. All right, and we got. David Switzer, so nice to have David here again. Hello, David. Welcome, brother. Thank you. Thank you, David. We also have uh, Jig Bodie coming in. Jig Bodie from Colorado. Yeah, Rocky and, Mountain High. And the panel is filling up so nicely. Thank you all. Those of you who are uh, not Hello, here, everybody. Hello. Check, check it out. Hi, David. Love you. Anybody else want to come on in? All right. That may be it for the moment, which is okay. There's Greg Hill. Hello to you too, brother. There's John Barilla. Hello to you, John. And there's Mel Mel. Hello to you too. And there's Deb. Hello to Deb. I hope John's feeling good and as well. Don. John had a um, migraine yesterday on his fifth year on passive anniversary. He had a great day. And just in the evening, I think it's when the... Um, migraine hit it was a heavy migraine so i'm glad he got rest he said to me later that he was feeling better do you feel normal today or still kind of not so good are you are you norm back to normal yet and Maybe. yeah you never normal but it's <laughs> anyway uh you know, I don't feel much better. In the middle of everything going on last night, I was trying to watch and keep up, but I, I suddenly got like a migraine brain headache. And I took some men for it, and that kind of knocked me out. So there, I'm listening, but then I noticed that I was like out for about a half an hour, an hour maybe, and then I woke up, and then I stayed up the rest of the time. And uh, so I feel much better today, so that's normal. That's good. So, I'm back to normal, so I can feel pretty good right now anyway. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. All righty, daddy. And uh, Pranayan is here. Nayan, come on in. Hi, Pranayan. Welcome to Robin. Glad you're here, Carmela. We're glad you're here. Yes. Uh, shalom to you, Deb. We're glad you're here, of course. Deb, thank you for the sign list. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Don Swihart, too, which means DL is not far behind. All right. Right, all right, all right. Are we ready for hands already? We want to give this a few minutes. Well, either way, let's let's peek at the chat, see what's going on in the chat. All right. 
Um, Here we go. Lucy Ingalls in the house. Oh, Hello, Lucy. Lucy. Come to the panel one day, Lucy. Leg Degas here. Hello, yeah. Miss Leg Degas. Hello. And then who else has come in? Um, oh, of course, Armin is here. Oh, we have Nagaraj Gosavi. Nagaraj, do you want to come to the, the panel? I don't think we've seen you on the panel yet on community time. We'd love to have you. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, Armin has a family matter to tend to. That's fine. Family always comes first. I think I caught everybody. Chris Tiazone is here, of course. Yes. All right. All right, I think we're ready to maybe throw oh, up cake. some. I see Keiko. Woo! Keiko Hoshina. And I, it's Japan. nice to have you here, Keiko. I know you can't come that often, so it's nice when we see you. Yes, we also is. have Ivy Rose. What's a beautiful name. I love that name, Ivy Rose. Yeah. Hello to you. We're glad you're here with us today. That's so nice. And did I catch everybody? I think so. The ones that are here in the last five minutes or so i got them all okay. yeah i got them all oh all right. rachel 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 violet in the house yeah. all right rachel and if you want to teach signs let me know give me the list okay we have deb deb will be teaching tonight but you can teach too okay rachel and we don't mind and rachel says hello Roblin. hello she has a heart for us Thanks Thank you, you very much. Here's the heart right back to you. Isabel. You're frozen on my end, Rob, if you hear me. Did we lose our host? Hello. Good evening, all. Good evening, all. Love you all. Robin, leave us frozen? They, they might, they might, I don't hear them. They might come back, I hope. <laughs> uh, John Borilla is speaking. I don't hear him. What? Yeah, their they're videos. Can you hear me? They're frozen. Yes. Yes, they are frozen. Something happened to the... Have to refresh. You don't know. Yeah. They have issues today. We are going to switch the O connect, that's why. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are getting the the, the better one. I think, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's on the way. It's, they're buffering at the moment. Maybe they're coming. What the heck? <laughs> but I see Chris. All right, there. is that any uh, better? Uh, check uh, one, two, check. One, two. Okay, welcome back. Yes, welcome yes, we, we hear you. We hear you. We yeah. refreshed. You are welcome here. back. We refreshed. So thank Come you back. No, thank well, you. I needed a two and a half minute power nap, so we just decided to freeze on you. But now that we're back, let's get after it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There's Rachel coming in. Good evening, sir. Love you. Love you, ma'am. Love you too. How many of you guys went over to India? Uh, I was in India in from India? the beginning, almost in the end. All right, it was five I saw and you hours. speaking, and I saw Lynn speaking, and I see Gina Liva speaking. Oh, yeah. I saw Francis in the beginning. Fun time, and they dancing. Almost six but hours. I was in India way. speaking, and I didn't understand nothing. <laughs> right. Well, I, I, the only thing I understood is when they called my name to speak, they said Rob. Brother Rob. So I assume that I was the only brother Rob out of 2000. Namaste, people. namaste. That's what I know. Namaste. namaste. That's right. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Did yeah, everybody namaste. see Francis Tay there on stage dancing? <laughs> Woo hoo, doggies. Francis was all there. Yeah, I saw this. I, I make a picture of him dancing. Oh, <laughs> I sent him a picture. And also, today uh, I am also enjoying uh, with uh, Rob Sar. Uh, his peace. Yeah, I know. I, I can understand Hindi, you know. 
Uh, yes. I was very enjoyed that. Right. Thank you. We were, we were Sorry, to you. we were a little shy on the ah, Hindi. So too. you have something to tell us what they talk about? I'm curious. <laughs> well, a lot of what they talked about was what Ash had talked about, you know, earlier in the evening. And uh, they went, they reviewed a lot of that, but they had a program set. I mean, they were dancing, they were singing. They had Mel, you to fit right in there. You should have taken a little trip over there. Uh, you to fit right in. They were dancing, singing. Uh, it was, it was good. It was good. And uh, Lynn heard her name and she knew, oh, it's time for a namaste. So uh, Lynn was able to uh, speak as well. And uh, it was kind of funny earlier in the evening we didn't know if we were going to be on the panel on uh o Manu and o ron and we wound up at the end being on the panel and i don't know if you caught it but uh i guess i now have a new son ash is now my uh, uh, my son he was teasing me about that he was teasing me that oh you're old enough to be my daddy and i said i guess so ash but why don't you just call me uncle rob you know 75 to 50 well i guess i could be his daddy but at a out of respect to him i'll just uh say call me uncle brother all right that was fun <laughs> it was fun all right let's get after it here uh does anybody want to say anything about shopping in ai come on ladies i know you got it in you what was the question again please uh the question is how has AI and shopping affected you when you go shopping, whether it's on the internet or whether it's right there uh, in the store? Let us hear from you on that. Okay. Let's go to Double Mel. Hello, Mel. Hello, hello. Sorry, <laughs> hi, Liam. Hi. Everybody. Um, I'm a well. I used to be a shopaholic, but I'm I'm. I'm slowing down, but I still try to add to cart without paying. I just, I just love to, I just love to check out things. I just love to window shop online. So what I do, um, <laughs> there's the chat button when you go online, and um, it allows you to put in the cart as many, and I mean it directs you to the payment screen. I mean I don't pay. I just like to see the things in the cart. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's. A, I can't, that's the kind of window shopping, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's still a bad habit, but anyhow, I don't I don't spend my money, I just put. So um, I love the shopping online because I too have had a shop online, my own. That's way before on Passive, <laughs> way before in 2015. And um, everybody should know about Shopify, right? It's called Shopify, yeah, so. Yeah, I still have my, I still maintain it, but I don't do anything in it because I'm in on passive, you know? So this is something that I, I loved in online because you have all these different ad, um, apps like the chatbot and all those things, other apps that can help you instead of you fighting to create something, they have already done it for you. So you place them into that, um, into your catalog and then they will direct customers, right? So that's that's one of my good things, is shopping online with AI, because AI does everything for you, really. You just have to pay. Put in the basket or the shopping cart and pay. Simple. So yeah, simple. And it's one less trip to the store, so. <laughs> that's true. So, okay. Thank you. Soon you don't have problem Thank about you. it. You'll have so many apples, you can buy whatever you like. <laughs> All right, it sounds like uh, Carmelo's got an idea there. Sounds good to me. All right, let's uh, talk about uh, going over to Ohio. And uh, let's go to Dawn and DL. Go ahead, kids. Who's first? Okay. Oh, Greg, Lake. Greg yeah. Lakin was first. All right, I already had Greg written down. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead, Greg. Unmute. Greg Lakin, you're on. Yeah, um, okay. Um, I've um, thought about it a lot, and the, the problem, my problem with um, unlimited shopping is the cost of 
our environment because I'd rather see people use already use stuff that is already available. We are still, um, well, I don't know. Um, um, most people are not realizing the con consequences of our, I mean, just because you're shopping doesn't mean we are the only creature on earth that stops for, I mean, other, I don't know. But um, this is my view. All right. Well, I'm all about, uh, you know, using used goods when you can and new goods when you have to. That's my motto. Uh, I used to be a Salvation Army and Goodwill shopper, I, I must admit, when I was living in Houston, Texas, back in the 70s and uh, uh, going through a divorce. I really had nothing. I didn't have two shekels to run together, uh, rub together, or two nickels. So <clears throat> I'm familiar with using somebody's uh, hand-me-downs, and it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I made it through it, and I, if I can make it through it, anybody can make it through it. So, uh, let's now, thank you, Greg. Let's go over now to Dawn and DL, please. Go ahead, honey. I don't do a lot of clothes shopping now because I've been retired for a while, so I'm not needing the clothes like I used to need. But I do a lot of grocery shopping, and I, you know, I shop at our local Kroger store here, and it's amazing how you can order online and pick them up. You know, have them put them in your vehicle for you, or they can shop for you. You can tell them what you want, and but how they keep track of everything you're buying and. Um, and I'll get these little notices all the time through my email about different items. And so that's where I've really noticed a lot through AI is through my grocery shopping and how they keep track of what you're buying and, and what you might like. And uh, so it's, it's really changed the grocery shopping. That it really has. I mean, and, and now you've got people can even go shopping for you. Right. That's got to have a little AI embedded in it, too, where, the, you know, these people get sent a shopping list of what to pick up. I mean, it's getting crazier and crazier out there. They'll deliver to me or I could just pull up to their the parking spot where they put them right in my car for me. And I mean, but I need to get out and I need to get moving. So I don't like doing that a lot. I mean, if the weather's really bad, then it's kind of nice to have them shop for me and I don't have to get out. But uh but it's amazing how it's changed, though, and they, they'll even bring them to the house for me. But, so. You can't beat that. That's Especially sure. when COVID was going on. That was really nice. And I could have them bring groceries to the house to me. And, right. Uh, made it very convenient. True, true, true. Thank you for that. Dio, do you want to hop on board there? Or are you... Uh... Yeah, but, yeah, basically what she's referring to uh, kind of is uh, it kind of analyzes your consumer behavior, basically. Uh, it sees what you shop for, uh, what you're looking at. You end up getting uh, you end up getting these uh, uh, prompts about uh, uh, suggestions that uh, that they offer to you and all that good stuff. So it's becoming uh, a quite uh, quite impressive, actually, on on the AI itself. But uh, uh, it's making things a lot easier for a lot of people. So that's all I got for now, though. All right. Thank you very much there, DL. Thank you, Dawn. And let's go now to Greg Hill. Greg, go ahead. Takes a little while for that microphone to have an effect. I'm guessing you can hear me. Yeah. Everybody hear me? You're audible. Go ahead. You're five by. Okay. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's see. My wife would say, because I, do I don't do a lot of shopping, but I, I do a lot of taking to the shopping. Uh, so my wife says, shop till you drop, buy till you die, and spend to the end, which is fine with me, whatever. 
<laughs> and uh, she really likes the AI part of uh, shopping, I think. Uh, more online now, I don't really particularly care for that part of it because you it's putting you out there more. So you need to be very careful of what you're doing when you're online shopping. But, um, hey, it's this, this is technology happening. It's going to continue to grow. Being able to order stuff when I mean, you get it. I mean, not just a telephone, but you're doing it through your phone. You're at the store. You take your, your phone. You stick it on the barcode. You hit the barcode. You compare prices. So everything is uh, it's going AI for sure. Just don't take that mark on your hand or your forehead. So anyway, <clears throat> I'll just throw that in there for a second. <laughs> anyway, but I love AI as far as where it's growing. Like I say before, it's all on the people behind it. And if they're good, it's going to be good. If they're bad, it's going to be bad. So anyway, let's continue to try to do good with shopping on a, online, using AI, but doing the good thing. That's all I can tell you. All right. Well, all you right. told me now. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. All right. It looks like, if I'm not mistaken, we're going back to Mel. Or am I just plain mistaken? Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll be one of the shopping coaches for some people, you know. Um, when you're online, what I like is um, the different codes, the different colors that you won't get in the store, the different sizes sometimes that you won't get in the store. You know, there's more of a variety when you go online shopping. And um, if you left things in the shop, the AI bot will still remind you as soon as you sign in into that particular website, it will say, good evening, Mel, you left some things behind. So it's reminding you that you still have things in the cart to pay for, you know? And then when you shop, I love how you can track your order from the point where it's being picked up to where they deliver it in the warehouse. And then the next day, you, sh you shop and it, it gives you the steps of where the vehicle is at and when it will arrive. I love that. So shopping online is my main thing right now. I won't, I don't go in the store I'm wasting time and can't get what I want. I go online. Like Amazon and these other. And now they even have... Um, they even have like a, it's, it's not a credit card, but it's like a credit, um, I'm trying to get the name. So you can pay quarter, like a quarter, you can pay part of, like say it's 150, you can pay $50 the first time. And then you go back, the chat box will remind you that there's a balance. They give you a credit. So that's all to do with shopping online these days, because they want you to be back. So they make it the best, the very best to, um, so Camilla, shopping on the Camilla, <laughs> she's ignoring me. <laughs> what? I'm not ignoring you. What do you want to? Say? I'm shopping. I'm not shopping too much. I'm just teasing, no, Camilla. I'm just teasing, Camilla. But anyhow, that's for the shopping online. I, 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 I have no. I have a small house. I can't shop too much. I, I have no place. Too much. I was just teasing. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank goodness that's settled. All right. Let's go over. Uh, let's go back to uh, Ohio and uh, Dawn and uh, DL. Go ahead, guys. Good. Another thing that's so convenient, I have six grandchildren and they all live in different states and I can order their birthday presents online and they'll ship them right out to them. And uh, it saves me going out and trying to figure out what to get them and makes it very, very convenient. And then the kids are excited when they get a package delivered to the house from grandma. So that's very convenient. So grandma's got it going on. Oh, that's right. You got to keep the grandkids happy. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's they're right. All, they're all so far away. They need to be closer to me. But Well, didn't you say oh, you've well, got one that moved well. a little closer, right? Or no? Um, I yes. have two in Illinois, and then the kids in the army, they're in Kansas now. They're a little closer. They're not, they're not in Texas now. And then I have one in Michigan. So they're not too bad. I mean, but it's still far away. Just right. can't see them. Yeah, but as far as AI with uh, 
with shopping, I, I forgot to mention the most obvious uh, as far as uh, inventory management, uh, logistics. Uh, you got to go with the pricing and uh, supply chain as well. So all those things are becoming more and more uh, managed by artificial intelligence itself. I mean, I just it, it would imagine it's going to expand further uh, as we go into the future. So those are uh, those are things I think it's uh, certainly coming. It's going to get more prevalent. I can give you a perfect example. You said logistics. My son and I, the logistics company that he now is the owner of, uh, if if we fail to make a pickup, if we're late on a pickup, we get automated. Where are you? Where are you? Where is your truck? Your truck hasn't been inspected yet, and we can't put half and half on it until it's inspected. We get those kind of blurps that are either being done by virtual or, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I know it's virtual because I've, I've spoken to the lady and she says, oh, let me check and see what the what our uh, computer says. Well, wait a minute. I thought you sent that out. Well, no, it's automatic. So that's AI at work uh, in block, excuse me, not blockchain, but supply chain for sure. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I just hope that they don't pull a 341 on you, Rob. A uh, three forty one. What is a three? Are you talking about a, a DNA a do not load or or did not load or? That that's old military term from years ago. Oh, okay. I, I thought see, you I'm, might recognize that. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm back. I'm back. It's uh, <laughs> believe it or not. Believe it or not, it's been a little bit of a, an interesting day today. Uh, that started at 5 a.m. I think yesterday, and uh, continued till right now. So uh, uh, if if I sound if we sound like we're a little, you notice she's not talking too much tonight. <laughs> she didn't get a nap at all. She's been up probably I don't know how many hours. I can't keep track. Uh, I got an hour nap in, and I wasn't ready to wake up. But we have a guest here at the house. And I uh, had to take that guest uh, back to their hotel. And, uh, man, I was looking for another hour, maybe another two hours. But uh, tonight, I think, will be our night to uh, get a little bit of rest. And hopefully you guys who were up with India uh, most of the morning will be able to get some rest as well. Uh, I do want to say it was great to see Francis Tay there. Abadayas was there as well. Uh, Anyway, there's a bunch of people we saw there. Right. And it was fun. Uh, I'd never seen so much dancing and and uh, Indian music. It was all good. It was all good. All right. Uh, go ahead. We, we certainly appreciate everything that you do, Rob, and uh, the time and that you and Lynn put in. So we're extremely grateful for what you do do. So thank you much. Well, that's, you know, that's kind of you to say, but uh, we're happy to do it. And we didn't want to miss this. We didn't want to miss Ash because we had questions. We didn't want to miss India. So uh, it was all good. And uh, uh, I think Carmela was there. Gina Leva was there. Uh, there were a lot of people there that come to Rob Lynn Live, and that's good stuff. We were glad to see that we were well represented. And uh, in India? In India, yeah. Red was there. Red, red, red. Oh, Red Redfern came on at the end and said his hellos, which was good. Uh, a lot of support from the United States and UK uh, for the folks. That, you know, let's keep in mind that India is over, the Indian population of on passive is over 50 percent. Maybe a little more than that. Mm -hmm. So there are buddies, there are pals, there are friends. There certainly are comrades in terms of uh, being on the on passive, uh, you know, in the on passive organization in the movement. So. All right, thank you. We appreciate you guys. Uh, Greg, did you uh, want to go again? Go ahead, Greg Lakin, please. Oh, okay. Um, well, I came uh, out here quite a few years ago when there wasn't a traffic light in town. And the idea, I mean, now, well, I go now to um, where I get a ride to town for. Uh, uh, cell phone 
because AT&T doesn't have the brains to realize that many people are without AA running a cell phone. Um, eight, um, when I, before, when AT&T was run by, um, near, um, Hardwick, I had power in the house, but now with now going to Berlin, I don't. And it's, I don't know, um, some people don't understand reality. But, you know, well, I mean, I don't know, it's just all I want to say. Uh, You're, um, muted. At least for me. Yeah, I'm muted for everybody. I'm just one great big mute. Uh, what <laughs> I said is thanks for your comments. Oh, my goodness gracious. Where were you when I needed you, moderator? I'm in the chat. No, Where she's in the chat. chat. Lighten it up in the chat. All right. Well, anyone else uh, want to talk a little about AI and shopping? Uh, John, have you noticed anything about AI and shopping? John Barilla. Uh, there we go. Uh, well, <laughs> I brought this up uh, before, talking about uh, things online that uh, AI or algorithms or whether AI uh, controls or whatever, but. Uh, well, they're not always uh, correct or accurate. In shopping, uh, I've had an experience, for example, where uh, I, had some, uh, I had a couple of uh, nephews and uh, I had my, my niece, and uh, I would buy them when they were really young, you know, buy them a, a present. Uh, way John was talking about how she can buy online for the grandkids and whatever. The thing is now, that's been years ago they're like you know my niece is 40 some years old now and i still get in amazon and other places that i sh might be shopping online suggestions because you know this is fit for you you might like to buy and it'll be things that now nah, i don't have any interest in buying those little baby toys because i don't have anybody to buy that for anymore so that kind of thing can happen also in like youtube for example uh, when you watch something. Now, I'm on YouTube a lot, as I would imagine some of us are uh, in our passive. Uh, and the thing is, though, I'll watch a lot of things on YouTube, but sometimes I watch things randomly that I may or may not really be interested in. Why am I even here? And this thing comes up and I'll watch it. Well, then all of a sudden, you know how they give you the suggestions on the side panel of everything this is for you, suggested for you? I could have the least little bit of interest in a lot of the things that they think I'm interested in watching because I never watched it because I wanted to in the first place. That's just a kind of a thing that the uh, AI, or maybe it will get the sophistication to be able to, you know, uh, look into that rather than just post something that may or may not be something that you would be interested in. Anyway, so I brought that up before, so I'll bring it up again. <laughs> That's it. I'm muted. Now I'm unmuted. All right. Thank you, John. Will you be singing tonight? I uh, need to get that in the register. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll be singing. Yep, yep. All right. Okay. We're getting close to where we're going to do a little bit. Of, ah, we still got about 15 minutes before we do the signing. Yeah. So nice. we're, we're open. The floor is open. Anybody and everybody wants to talk about, eh, we can talk about anything you want to talk about. Just bring it to the floor and we'll... Uh, We'll do it. Or we can talk about shopping in AI. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to mention something about shopping in AI. There's one other thing. Have you ever been to either Sam's Club or Costco and they've got this machine standing there? Machine is talking you into buying either Tide or Gain or Dawn Liquid and gives you a, a darn coupon. Well, hello there. Uh, are are you someone that does dishes? Well, who are you talking to, man? 
anyway, that, that machine will talk to you. That's AI at work as well. They feel you coming by. And right behind that machine is that darn guy that's coming there to clean the floors with nobody driving him. So, I mean, you're getting it from both directions there. You know, you got that. You got the, the machine t telling you about Dawn Liquid, uh, that you must get Dawn Liquid. So, at any rate, I'll get off my soapbox. But I just thought that was another instance, for sure, of AI. I mean, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right, let's go back to this uh, illustrious panel and see if there's anybody else who'd like to raise their hand. And uh, after we do that for a few more minutes, we're going over to our deaf community and signs. Signs. Multiple signs. Uh-oh. They're discussing uh, Deb and Rachel discussing, because she's going to be teaching some signs. So Deb is discussing with her those signs. Okay. Before they start teaching. Uh, I'm not muted, so I can go ahead and talk. All right. That's good stuff for sure. So let's see. I thought this was going to be a topic we talk about for an hour, no, hour and a half. All right. Well, that's okay. Uh, let me talk about a little bit of my experience, I guess, then with uh, AI and shopping. Um. Uh, Perfect example is, I hate to bring them up, but is Amazon. There's AI at work in a big way. If you look, once you've purchased something and once it's been sent out to you, whether it's going to take one day, two day, three days, they've already put in your profile, someone's put it in there, I think it's AI. Are you ready to purchase this again? Wait a minute, I just ordered the darn thing and you're asking me if I'm ready to add it to my shopping cart again. So that's AI at work for sure also. So Mel, did you have your hand raised and I skipped over you again? No, Rob, no, no, no. Well, the I correct, spoke answer, right the correct <laughs> answer, yes. <laughs> that's all right, um, no problem. <laughs> Let's see what we got going here now. Or, or not, or not. We can do a group picture. Let's do a group picture. David Switzer, come back on screen. We got to do a group picture, if you don't mind, brother. Isabel, Vanita, if you guys want to be in the if picture. If you want to be in the picture, we'd love to have you. There's David with his Kansas City Chiefs hat. I'm here, I'm here. All right, brother. What's the sign for shopping? Oh. Shopping, the sign for shopping. 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 I bet everybody's going to remember that one. Shopping. Take a picture with us all shopping. Sign <laughs> shopping. All right. You guys ready? Ready? Oh, yeah. And Rachel was even putting it in the cart. Shopping. Putting it in the cart. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Ready, guys? All right, here we go. On the count of three. Ready, we'll sign shopping like this. Shopping, shopping. All right, here we go. Okay. You shopping. It, you All right, on the count of three. Three. What? Three. Yeah, okay. In the two. In the yeah. One. Now. Shopping. Shopping, shopping. Did they come up? Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at all you kids going shopping. All right. I like it. That'll be in the Rachel still shopping. Look at her. She's still shopping. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Now on the signing, who's going first? Just so I have it in so my we'll head. We'll go with, um, we'll start with Deb first and okay. then we'll go to Rachel. All right, so it'll be Deb and then Rachel. This is okay. All righty. All right, all right, all right. So let's go to the yeah, uh, well, side view is fine. Side view. All right, we got um, Rachel. Okay, this is Rachel. Sign her name, sign or sign, sign name. The letter R, 
and she smiles a lot so it's the letter r like this in this in rachel the, in the sign smile that's her name rachel sign, okay so she's going to be teaching tonight l s q which means french signs now french sign language is a combination of american sign language and french so it's a mixture of both okay so sometimes they'll be the same as american sign language sometimes completely different but anyway she's going to be teaching cat dog lick lick and uh wash or wash depending what you're doing with the washing meow meow and um tail the tail good tail and claw claw male female and yelp yelp okay so we'll go to rachel now rachel first all right let's go to rachel where's rachel she'll be on the side and there she is you can begin now hello rachel start teaching yes she goes hello rachel to me okay okay hello <laughs> <laughs> yeah thumbs up cat cat meow she says cat meow meow <laughs> meow dog the 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 ears of the doggy you see the ears of the dog that's how you get the sign for dog lick oh lick lick <laughs> wash <coughs> like wash the dog you know bathe your dog wash your dog like this washing the dog mm -hmm. washing oops sorry that, that does it on my computer wash wash yeah good meow meow see that the, the cat's mouth the jaws opening meow yeah. meow yeah. Tail, tail. Tail, let's see the tail wagging. Cat's tail. That's how the cat's tail moves. <laughs> claw, claw, claw. Like a claw swiping at somebody. <laughs> claw. Okay, that is male, the sign for male and female. 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 Male, female. Yelp. 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 Y E L P. Yelp. 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 Great. All right, let's go to again teach again please go ahead rachel cat everybody sign cat That's a cute sign <laughs> dog dog the t uh, the ears of the doggy right And the face or the nose of the dog. Cat. Bathe and lick. Sign for lick. L-I-C-K. <laughs> Cat. 
wash as in, in washing the dog, that kind of wash, the verb. Meow, meow, meow. Tail, meow, the cat's tail wagging furiously back and forth, slowly moving back and forth. Cat, tail. <laughs> Claw, claw, I like that one. Claw. <laughs> Male, female. Male, female. Yelp, yelp, yelp. Yelp. So jaws opening and closing. Yelp. Yelp. See the teeth? Those are the teeth. Yelping. Yelp, 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 yelp. Great job, everybody. Yay. Okay. Thank you, she says. Okay, next we go to Deb. And her words tonight are what? She's got. What does that say? Oh, store. Store. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Store or sell? Money. Store, sell. I got it. I just hold it. Money. Like the glare, that's why I can't see it. Uh, dollars. Coins or change. Buy or buy, cost or price, O, O W E O, uh, cheap, cheap, expensive, expensive, collect or earn, collect or earn, profit, debit card or credit card. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. You can teach now. Deb. Okay. Hello, everyone. You ready to go shopping? <laughs> okay. Store. Think of what they hang the sign at the store. Or they sell. Money. Where's the money? Where's the apples? Dollars. It's a dollar bill, dollars, or maybe five dollars, or five thousand dollars, right? Coin change, move for coins or change, like a scratch, change. Buy, 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 like you go in the store and you buy milk, buy. Cost, price, X. cost, price. How much did it cost? Four dollars. Oh, roll me something. Oh, cheap. Take a hand like this. Cheap, cheap. Like it's made from another country. Cheap. Here it's made very expensive. Like you're gonna buy and you're gonna throw it. Expensive. Expensive. Collect or earn. Collect. It's just like collect, earn. We, we learned that before. Profit. Profit. When we earn, we make profit. Debit card, debit D, debit card, debit card, credit card, like the old time they used slicing, so it's credit card, card. Thank you very much. Let's go to the gallery view and you can review, teach again, please. Thanks, Deb. 
Oh, ready? Okay. Four star. Four star. Money. Money. Very easy. Money. Dollars. 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 Coins or chains, either one. Chains, coins. Buy, buy. Cost, cost. I must took cost or look the price, the value. Oh, oh. Remember, old me. Sheep, sheep, so sticky, sheep. Expensive, buy and sell it. Expensive. Price of the meat, that's expensive. Collect, earn. Collect, earn, what you see. Profit, profit. Well, I got up. Pass it. Pass it. Debit card. <coughs> Debit card. Debit card. Credit card. I like to shop at Amazon. I use my debit card. And they deliver. Very nice. Perfecto. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yay. All right, uh, John, are you ready to uh, entertain? Okay. Yeah, sure. Are we ready? Yes. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Well, first I just wanted to, uh, I have a little t-shirt on here. You can see. Uh, see it? It says JJB with a heart, Tin Man of songs with a little music scale on the bottom. Tin Man of songs. And that's a... Uh, a gift from wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> I gotta get my chair fixed okay <clears throat> that's a gift from frank rowe so thank you frank uh i get and i think i got another one coming uh with long sleeves or something and and when he he uh, he showed me this or he you know messaged me and i and he showed me i saw a picture and i'm thinking like i thought wow that company sells t-shirts that say tin man singer of songs it's amazing How, who else would be i didn't realize that he designed it you know the whatever the company is you can you can make your own design so i'm thinking that the company's selling these shirts about tin man you know how ridiculous i mean i'm kind of stupid sometimes anyway <laughs> so i got this nice t-shirt so tonight I'm going to sing, I sang an Elvis Presley song recently, Love Me Tender, beautiful song. And so I'm going to do another Elvis song. This is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, a song that Elvis wrote along with Otis Blackwell. I believe that's one of the guys that was in his group, you know, uh, that sang with him all the time. But anyway, so this is an Elvis tune that he wrote. And I'm sure people know it. Don't be cruel. Okay, so here we go with don't be cruel. <laughs> don't, don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Don't, don't be cruel. I don't want no other love, oh baby, it's you. When you 
John and the lyrics to Don't Be Cruel are also posted in the webinar chat. Thank you, Chris, for doing that. It was a lovely rendition. Angela says, That's dancing music. How lively. That's what Angela says. And Lucy says, Elvis Presley's Don't Be Cruel. Thank you, John. Angela Lalanne says, Awesome, awesome, awesome. You got my vote, John. That's nice. Um, let me see if there's anything. Nice beat, John, says Angela. And we have uh, Angela saying, that was kind of you, Frank, giving him that T-shirt. And we have Ruth Faye saying, hello. She just came in. I see Lucy Ingalls is here. I think we got it. Sadananda, I mentioned before. Rob and Lynn are incredible. Oh, thank you, Armin. That's kind of you. All right. I think that's it for the chat. I caught up. I want to give a couple of shout outs if that's okay and uh, this is meant uh, nothing but positive and then we'll go to dawn and um, dl it was very kind of uh, two of our regulars to let's say go to bat for us and uh, i don't want to go into any detail about it but it was very nice to have the support of two people uh in particular uh, Armand and uh, and Chris Tiazone. It's very heartwarming, and uh, I don't want to go into detail about any of the details other than thank you. Uh, it means a lot to know how we're considered in your lives, in your minds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I, it's just, you know, it's a good feeling. It makes this whole 30-hour day worthwhile. Uh, just knowing that... Uh, that, that we know you all care, but for people to to step to the plate like happened last night, thank you. Uh, that's enough on that subject. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, for each and every one of you, if if there was ever a situation where you needed us to go to bat for you, I don't pull any punches. I go, I cut right to the chase, and I will go to bat for you. So you can rest assured. So. Uh, enough on that but i i wanted to mention that because it it, it meant a lot to us uh, to both of our hearts 
Uh, we love you all. Thank you. We ah, you. we love you. Yeah, yeah, we love it's you. It's truly a family. It's a you know a Roblin Live family we have here. So again, thank you, and let's go to Dawn and DL. Well, I just uh, wanted to say I forgot the most obvious of the uh, shopping and artificial intelligence, which is the uh, automated checkout. I don't know, Sam Hill, could I miss that? Uh, <clears throat> but uh, thanks for that song, John. Uh, that brings back uh, when I was in the Far East. I was cruising down the mountains uh, on my uh, on the, in the sub, uh, Mazda Savannah that I had, and I had a tape in the uh, in the uh, cassette there, and I had that blaring sky high. Don't be cruel, coming down the mountains. So. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, that's an old, old time song. Bring back a lot of memories. Thank you much. You did well. Now, when you said cassette, did you mean a four track or did you mean an actual cassette? Because you're old enough to have used four and eight tracks, you know, brother. <laughs> you're muted, brother. You're absolutely right. It was an eight-track, Rob. Go to my memory there. It was definitely an eight-track. I knew it wasn't a CD, but I wasn't sure it was a four or an eight-track. I had an eight-track. All right. Hey, I still got eight tracks yet. Oh, do they work? I still got eight tracks yet. What do you do with them? Do you play them? I still, believe it or not, I still have an eight-track player. It still works. Oh. That's wow, take me back to 1967 or 8. Yeah, I got two 8-track players, actually. I got one that works really good. It's an old Radio Shack. And then I got another one that I haven't hardly played it often, but I keep it just because it's antique. So Now, do you have a, a record player? An actual yeah, I do. Uh, you have a record player, too. I got a record player, and I also I was I was a big stereo nut. <laughs> Back in my younger days, I I got over 500 albums of different kind of music, uh, rock and roll, country, you name it. Night uh, back in the 50s and 60s music, so you know I, I like all kinds of music. So you got Neil Sedaka? Yep, I sure do. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's going back in my time. I like it. I like it. Yeah, he's a good singer. He still sings off and on. I have to do. I'm going to do a Neil Sedaka one of these nights. Uh, I, I've thought about that, uh, uh, you know, because I actually care. Who wrote stuff with him. Yeah, I love Neil Sedaka, and he's on it. He's I got, on. I got a. I got a record player. I got actually. I've got three record players, and I have a. I have an album. I still have vinyl albums and all that stuff. Sure. I don't have an eight track though. I don't have eight track. I don't know what happened to that. I got a. Pioneer receiver is still, it's over 50 years old. And I still have it yet. I have stuff in my closet. It's one of my first stereos I had, one of, those old, one of the Pioneer receivers. All right. Carrying us back in memory. I like it. Well, thanks for starting that deal. Cool. <laughs> you and your cassette. All right. Anybody else? Uh, we may call it a little early tonight. Only because, I, uh, truth be known, I'm fading fast, and uh, I've got to get some work done. But uh, talk to us if you got something else about AIL and shopping. And you know, DL, about the AL and shopping and the uh, cashierless, I call it cashierless. I swore I'd never go to one of those cash registers because I felt that people were losing their jobs. Oh, no. I made that comment to a manager one day. I was in my union steward uh, mode, and I felt I needed to say something about people losing their jobs. They hired more people because of it, because they've got to have three or four or five people in that area to help people who have a problem, because those AI computers don't always work. The registers, they'll eat your, you know, they'll eat the the receipt or who knows what else. So I guess just like Ash has been saying, AI is not taking jobs. It's creating jobs. So yeah, back to you, Dio. Yeah. I just wanted to say after uh, my uh, eight tracks, I ended up going really, really high tech. I went to a reel to reel and that was back at the oh, time. Oh, that, was, Nelly. That, was, that was uptown, buddy. I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Don had something to say also, Rob. No, I still have my 
my stack of 45s that I had when I was uh, wow. 11, 12 years old. I have a whole stack of those. I just, I don't want to part with them. My old uh, Victrola that I would play them on, you'd stack them on. And oh, you had one of those things. Down at a time. The, the pin that stuck up, you had one of those things where you could stack the, yeah, yeah I remember that one. Yeah. Too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I still have a stack of them, too. Something I'm just me. curious, David Switzer, if you have uh, 78s. I have an antique 45 player. It doesn't work, but it fits 45 <laughs> records on it. But it doesn't work. It's just for looks, you know. Yeah. Wow. I was just curious, out of all those uh, albums that you had, do you have uh, the 78s, the old 78s? Yeah, I got some of those, too. <laughs> okay. That's way back. That's the big one that goes very slow, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's really cool when you uh, speed it up and then, then it goes fast. <laughs> 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 never mind. That's crazy. But never mind. Back to you, Rob. All right. It's Rob Lynn Live. It's crazy as it can be. I can't argue with that one. Go ahead, Greg Hill. I just want to say we'll call it a... Th early 50s AI when we actually, I never forget, going to a restaurant or to the our local eatery or whatever you want to call it, the heck, Greasy Spoon, we had one called. And of course, uh, every booth that we sat at had a, a little tiny box where we could put our dime in and we could play a record that came down on the record machine. It was over there. We didn't have to get up. We just put our money in it and kabingo them. Machine came on and played the song we wanted while we were sitting at our table, or played it at the table. It was kind of, but that was kind of AI in a way, but it was fifties AI <laughs> and sixties. So AI has been here a while. We just oh, yeah. don't know. It wasn't called AI back then. No, but boy, wasn't. were those people ahead of their game, or what? Or what? Yes, they were. Yep. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about AI a couple years ago, so I didn't even know it was around. Mm -hmm. It is uh, good stuff. How you doing there, Mel? I miss you, Mel. Bring it, Mel. I'm here. I'm here. I went to uh, today. I'm tired, man. I went to bed after two this morning, and I wake up at six something. And I work at 12 to 8 shift, so I am kind of chilling back. I'm chillaxing. That's what I'm doing now. Well, I say you need to go into full chillaxing mode and hop into the Betty Bye. <laughs> that's what uh, we're going to do here in uh, Florida. Uh, I want to talk a little. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mel. No, I was saying I'm good, Rob. Okay. I just wanted to check because I'm used to hearing from you at least two or three times. And. Uh, it looks like Chris Tiazone's got something for us. Go ahead, Chris. Mumble high. Yeah, for example, for a while, hello. Oh, yeah, Mumble high. Yes, uh, about the topic shopping in AI. Uh, I, I went shopping uh, two days ago and noticed a uh, uh, few shoppers there in the mall. You, you know who who does the shopping the staff and with the with the apps checking their customers what to what they what they chose yeah and those delivery uh, ai system and uh, integrated ai and with the apps and uh, and delivery system so we call it tok 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 means uh, in filipino or tagalog knock 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 okay, knock knock here's here's your order yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. And you know, that is what's happening in the malls now that you mention it. Walk into a mall, your favorite shopping mall, and notice how many people, people, even at the Christmas time and uh, the other holidays, I didn't notice as many people. But I noticed Amazon trucks on the road. I noticed rider trucks on the road, the little delivery trucks, UPS on the road. I mean, people are still buying. And it's through AI, without a doubt. It's through AI. Let's talk briefly about tomorrow, if we may. It's Sunday. 
I believe uh, Marty DeGarmo, as long as he's feeling okay, he had some kind of flu bug that may have come into the house from one of the grandkids. Uh, look for him at 10. Breaks off on. Do uh, uh, run up to uh, mom, mom's house because uh, uh, Jane's uh, mom is not doing so well. Uh, she They run up there every Sunday, so don't look for him at 11. At uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow, 1,400 hours straight up, uh, look for the uh, Otec Pros, Comfort Confort, Lynn Nakamoto. I may even make the show. I'm not sure 100%. 2, 2 o'clock Eastern time where we'll go into uh, a Q&A and uh, may even have a topic for tomorrow. I haven't looked in the uh, back office. Oh, you can yeah. check your back office for uh, Heroes. It's called Heroes tomorrow at 2. And then uh, as the day goes on, I think there's going to be about 35 different webinars uh, in different languages. So, uh, hey, take the one of your choice and run with it if you like. And then at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, oh, yeah, uh, it'll be the 550-some-odd, can't remember, 556 or 7 uh, consecutive show tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. We'll have another new topic we haven't really sat down and talked about tomorrow night yet because our heads are a little bit in the cloud. It'll be 557. Like I said, it'll be 557. It's a good thing we have an executive producer here. That's all I got to say. And yes, John, you're still the executive director, by the way. All right. All right. That's Thank about you. it from here. Thank uh, you. We almost did two hours. Uh, hey, an hour and hour and a half, whatever it was, is good enough for us. Hopefully good enough for you guys. It was fun. Uh, AI is everywhere. So buckle up. Buckle up. Put your AI big person in your because it's here to stay. And we have our live stream still going nice and strong. Got 11 folks in there watching our our thingy, our show. And we've got 45 of you here in the whole connection. So that's 56, which is pretty strong for a Saturday night. You guys could be doing something else. And a lovely and active webinar chat. And Greg Miller says, AI will get, I'd like to read Greg Miller's comment. Thank you. Uh, Greg Miller, who had, came on twice, I think, uh, recently and is here, I would say every night, AI will give me an income for myself and also to help others. And that's very true. AI is passive income at its best. So we look for all of you when you can be here. Tomorrow night will be a good start if you can make it then. Uh, if you have any questions uh, uh, about migration or whatever, so you can still write to RobLynLive at gmail.com. Don't forget RobLynLive.ai. And don't forget RobLynLive.com. Those are uh, Lynn's domains. I know most of you here don't need them, but there's somebody out there in YouTube land watching because we're still broadcasting, right? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Um, anything from you, Miss Nakamoto? No, that's it. I want to remind you, <clears throat> if I may, that you can get anything that you want at Ashmafara's restaurant. Yeah. So we'll see everybody tomorrow night if you can make it. Thank you. And don't forget Heroes tomorrow. And don't forget Marty tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Get some rest. Thanks for the song, John. Yeah, it was a good song. Don't be cruel. Yes, get, thank some, you, John. get some rest. Yeah, care, care, you know. really. Thank you for that. Thank you. Take care, Rob. Lynn. We'll thank you. you. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Three. Good night. One. Bye. Adios. Shopping. Amigos. Shopping. 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 Shopping.